Hi from Dale and hello from Ellie. And today we're going to fix this compressor. Now this is a 220 PSI, uh, 15.5 grams, kilograms per centimeter squared compressor. Um, and the problem with it, uh, we noticed the other day that it's broken. And somebody's put some red tape around here, here, and consequently these two wires are bare and twisted around and actually shorted on it and uh, blowing the fuse on the car. So the idea today is I'm going to cut this back and re-solder this inside here so we've got a good lead all the way through. Aren't we? We're going to fix it, aren't we, Ellie? Yes, sir. Uh... Yes, okay, let's make a start and get some tools and get this baby open. Okay, so here we are with the screwdrivers and we're going to take the screws out of it. We've got four screws by the look of it to, to take out, so we're going to do this quite quickly and hopefully get inside, aren't we, Ellie? That's one. Are you videoing it? <laughs> and this one's a bit loose that one. Three and four. Four screws. Okay, let's see if we can turn this over. See if we can rattle these four screws out without losing them. So we've got one from there. Run from the top corner, are they the same length? Uh, yes. And we've just got one more stuck in there, we'll get that one out. So that one's clear. That's this one. Just a bit grubby in there. We'll have a look, see what we can do. So we've managed to get the screw out now, and having rised it open a little bit, we can see what yeah, inside that this wire connects to, one is the motor itself to drive the compressor, and secondly, it's got some kind of crimp on here. So I think the easiest part here is to cut this here, splice on the new cable, this shortened cable, loop it back around here, which is its uh, uh, way of holding the uh, cable into the unit without tugging on it and that should fix it. So we'll give that a cut and see how but we what we've done is we've cut out the, the bad wiring now and we've put these two straight through bullet connectors on and we've stripped back these and we're now going to crimp these two on and then reinsert this back into the unit so that these joints are inside. Okay, it's the moment of truth now. Let's get into the uh, car and the compressor has been repaired. You can see now there's no damage to the uh, wire here. And we're gonna put that on the floor and find the old 12 volt plug. Plug that in and switch on. And it's uh, still not working. So, uh, nah, but maybe, but maybe this socket is switched live from the car. Is. So that's one working compressor. There was my heart thumping then at one point, but this uh, this socket on this car is obviously switched live from the ignition. So we shall switch the ignition off, and that is how to repair your old compressor for just a matter of pence rather than throwing it in the bin. Over and out.